out of your work, am I right? I guess you're right. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> well, it looks like you're showing them what's up, so I don't know if I got anything to do with it. I here. think we just covered the table pretty, pretty good. All right. Pretty nice. Well, it's what true. I know and what I can tell you guys is that it's Joey's turn. If you look at the board, we're right on at number three, artist choice. Boom. Boom. Artist choice. Joey's going first. Jake's going to be in the middle. And then Joey's going to follow it up with the third artist choice of tonight. It's true. And what he just told me is he's making a goblet, guys. And what I told him Woo! is it better be nice. So he's going to make a really good one. And Liz says thank you, Jake. All right, Looks Liz. like the customers are happy, and that's all that matters. Awesome. Well, I'd love to see it. I'm excited to see that on the annealer reveal that we're going to do within the next couple days spontaneously. You guys will see it. You'll be uh, we'll post it. It'll be a surprise, but I'm excited to see that in the morning. And while Joey gets this going, folks, I just want to remind you that we are making the switch to YouTube right now. So we're at 700 and something subscribers. We really need your help to get to 1,000. Yeah. And that's when the switch is going to be made, when we get to 1,000 followers. So subscribers, I'm sorry. So please go to the Glass Academy YouTube channel on YouTube.com and subscribe and we will soon be there for you. You can watch us on YouTube. Should be more rigid. And what do we do with this? It's gonna be the stem section of our goblet. So, as Joey said, the stem section's coming right now. And am I just gonna hold on to it? So I got the tray. So Joey, what are you doing when you're jamming that in the mold there? I am going to, my goal is to acquire the ridges that are on the layer of that mold and what that does is it gets impression by just applying lots of pressure. How many different ways can I say this? Probably a couple. I don't know. Don't know. Bite and pull. And similar to our Percola Reed class, this is something that we do. This is how you start a Percola Reed. Start with a layer. You can even do these ridges, add colors, swirl it, make some different shapes. But my goal is to make basically a simple snail shell type shape. I'm going to save that, put it on a hot tray. And it's just going to be a, a big chunky bit in between, kind of like the COVID pieces were on their goblets that Jake and Chris were making, right? It's true. Keep those likes and hearts coming, folks. And keep those shares coming. Even though the giveaway process is different tonight, and we're asking you to email enews at Glass Academy with a joke to get entered in the giveaway. We still need your likes and shares of the live feed so that we can get more people out here enjoying live glass blowing. I'm just gonna get up close so you can see this texture, Joey. That is amazing, my brother. Try and something. Look at that curl, folks. That's pretty much looking like a snail shell to me. and I'm not sure if you guys could hear him explaining all that process, but this is the center of the goblet. So you can imagine... Uh, you put the mole on the foot on it, and then it should have made the cup first, but I mean, well, I mean, this could just sit by itself. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. I was just thinking so we could save it with the emolio, but it's probably not best to have that hot. So, what I'm going to have Jake do in just a second is bring me over the hot tray so we can set it right on there. And we'll save this bit. And this is going to sit right in the middle of the goblet. Uh, if you want to walk over there, it's not going to be the exact shape, but I have a sketch that I drew up about a month ago. Some little goblet I wanted to make, and I just didn't I'm check decide. the sketch out real quick, folks. Something like it. Still haven't decided. You still have a chance to see how it turns out, but it's on the hot plate, and we're gonna go for the rest of it. Ain't that right? That's true, folks. So I'm not really sure how Joey's gonna do this one. Starting with the cup, and then we're gonna put an abolio on it. We'll probably stick that piece on there, and then go down through the bottom, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes, folks. This is something wild that we're doing here. If this comes off the pipe, it is for sale. We're gonna put a nice price tag on it, and we're gonna see how it goes. So. Uh, Joey going into work here. <laughs> Joey's Joey's always at work, folks. It's true. Joey's a worker. It's true. <laughs> we're gonna do a molotov mold, but we're gonna put just the 
tiniest little bit of that sexy iris blue on the bottom. We're gonna put our bubble in. I don't even need to bake that color in just because it was such a fine frit. I love the pineapple mold, mold, folks. I was just showing you guys who were watching the table a second ago, that pineapple mug over there. And check that out. That's how it's done. You see all those knobs in there, too. It's very important that Joey has his bubble set up exactly right. Because if he has a really thick bottom on it, when you go in this mold, you blow and expand it, and then you inhale a little bit of air. Watch what happen here. It's expanding. Now he's inhaling, and he sucks out and that gets the ribs on there. And if he doesn't inhale when he comes out of the mold, then you're not gonna be able to pull it out because it's held in there with all those teeth. So it's very important that your bubble's correct and on center. And that's really the mark of a good glass blower of being able to crush the mold. We're gonna need so to let's check that out. Oh. That wasn't exactly crushed, I wouldn't say. I was <laughs> well, a you guys hesitant. are gonna have another opportunity to watch what went down because I almost missed it with the camera here and I do apologize. I'm trying to follow about three things at once as cameraman here and I'm a little bit new to the glass blowing lifestyle, so I'm still learning just like you guys are. It's a learning process, and we want to do it with you. And he's trying to take in the information as he's filming it, so he's doing a great job, folks. Why don't you guys show Zach some love? Send him some hearts and some thumbs up. I definitely saw some. Oh, I appreciate it. On the last feed. Take a look right down here. Uh, but as you guys know, if you've been watching, he's brand new to this, and he's doing an amazing job. So send him some love, you guys. We've got to spread the love around here. Oh, look at all those hearts coming in. I love you guys. Yeah, Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate it. But Joey's doing the real work here, so let's watch him do it. You can already start to see that pineapple pattern on the outside, and this thing isn't even close to being done yet. That little twirl. I love that twirl, guys. Drop in the comments. As as people that watch this feed, what are, what is your favorite technique that these guys do? Is it the twirl, the little blow? Like, I don't even know what I don't even know what these things are called, but I love watching these guys go to work and just be artists. Oh, we got a question coming in. Jake. Someone asked, are all these men single? <laughs> I, will, I will say, myself, I am not single. I am in a very, very happy, loving relationship. Joey, what about you, my brother? Oh, I'm preoccupied. Joey's preoccupied. <laughs> That's a great answer, Joey. Yeah. No time for that kind of trouble. Thanks for all the love, guys. Give Joey some love, too. Show Joey some of these hearts as he does this beautiful, beautiful piece. You guys, take a look at this cup right now, too. And if you guys have been watching the show for a little bit here now, you know that we've been making these things called the waffle cups. And that's exactly what Joey has on the pipe right here. A waffle cup. And now he's going to turn coming into gobble form. We do have a question for you, Jake. Yes. I was just talking about all these little techniques that you guys pull off and how awesome it is to watch you guys do that. Yes. What does that little twirl do that we just saw Joey pursue using, just a minute ago? That's centripetal force. That's using gravity and that's swinging the piece and elongating it. Is that going to work? Let me see. More glass? A little, little bit more glass. So that that just shows you how fast this glass cools down from when they pull it out and then try to put it on a piece, folks. It's a process. Quite the process. So I'm having Jake bring me over a bit that we're going to use for an avolio, is what we call it. Definitely not the preferred method of application, but. It's going to work for us, so Jake's going to grab a paddle. We're going to even this up on the side. We're going to turn this into a little spool. 
what the Volio stands for, from my understanding. Process. And this is going to be a piece that's uh, worth purchasing, folks. When you guys see Joey pull this bad boy off. Right, so, uh, so we got a couple questions for you, Jake. While Joey's going at it, putting it back in there. Right on. We're going to wait for questions and answers in just a second. Joey, whenever you twirl things around on the pipe, have you ever smashed the glass? Yeah, you did that. Actually, on the last video, it was on Christmas here. Say that again? Right. Yep, bring it. And then right after you bring it, grab the snail shell. You got the torch on it, right? I really don't need much. So this is what we call a stick em bit. Jake's going to run to grab my little snail shell. Amazing job, Joey. And just squish it on there. Yeah. Yeah, folks. How about that? Uh. I think that deserves more than one or two likes, folks. I need to see some people smashing that like button right now. Sing Smash that sweet. like button. All right, so next up. Send some hearts for Joey. If there's any camera shake right now, I'm just trying to stay out of these guys' way so they can do what they do and I don't have to get burned on my legs. We don't need any leg burns around here or arm burns or face burns. Nay. Any kind of burn or camera burns for that matter is something we avoid here at the Glass Academy. While this is happening, we're going to do another pit stop here, folks. Gus coming in with another ice pack, making sure this camera and phone stay cool. One second there, and we're just going to get a close-up. one team going here behind us, keeping you guys nice and cool. See how fast that glass cools down, like Jake was just saying, folks. So, Joey... Comparably, how big is this piece compared to some other pieces that you guys make? This might be about eight inches tall, or well, your foot's only gonna go about right there. So this one might not be too much taller than the one tall. Most of our, our regular cups, it's gonna be about the same height. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even compare. And what about to some of the other pieces that aren't cups? Is it is it going to be in the middle in terms of size? A little shorter. A little shorter? Okay. Not so right many. on. Like Chris's goblets are definitely going to be a little bit bigger. Absolutely. Unless otherwise requested. Yeah. 
You'll see it's just sticking that right, right on there. The center, it's a beauty. And then putting it right back in. We're almost at 600 viewers, folks. Let's get it up to 600, 650. I'd love to see 1,000 tonight if we you can know, get there. I would, too. We had two weeks where we had at least 1,000 for every single show, four shows in a row that we had 1,000 people. And I think that was just like the glass gods or something saying that we should continue and push it to show 50. We're past that now, so we need to start getting up back in that 1,000 range. And we love you guys for showing your friends and your family what's going on with us. And uh, if you guys don't think Joey's making an incredible piece here, then you're just we're wrong. not watching the same video. <laughs> this thing is sweet, folks. I love all the hearts and likes coming in, folks. Keep sharing the feed. Keep liking the page. Keep throwing us some hearts in here. We really dig the hearts and likes and reactions. Oh, we're creeping up towards 600. Let's get some more people in here, folks. Like I was saying earlier, tell your friends and neighbors. other pieces except this is much tinier because I want this connection on the bottom of his piece to be ultra delicate he needs to be the right temperature and I need to be the right temperature and we want it to just barely be connected to the pipe because when we knock it off we can't hit it hard enough if you guys imagine drinking out of a wine glass and the pressure it would take on a beautiful delicate wine glass to break the stem we can't tap the pipe enough to break the stem it has to be more fragile than that and that's the connection that holds the on the pipe. So it's very fragile and very important the time that we put this on right here. So let's go ahead and get it, folks. Ready, are you? I'm ready. Boom. Right on center, a perfect stick. It's got a lot of heat on the piece, which is perfect. Make sure everything's lined up. A little bit of aqua. And we're off. And look at that transfer. I don't think I could have handed Jake something hand to hand easier than that. That was pretty delicate. It's right on center. It's looking really good. It's a little nerve wracking, isn't it, Jake? It's a little nerve wracking for me and for Joey and for probably you guys too. This thing's pretty crazy. Joey's just doing a great job with this. So just like when we did the mug, and just when I did that pint glass, we flipped it around. Now the whole bottom is finished. And this is where Joey, as we finish it up, is going to have to be very aware of the temperature of the rest of the piece that he's not working on. And he's just going to heat like he is now the top half. And all we want to worry about is that top half. He's probably, with the shape I see on the body of the cup here, going to go with that tulip shape, that beautiful flowing tulip shape. I'm not telling him what to do, but that's just the way when you see that you setup. Mine. We've done this yeah, we've done it before, so. Lots of likes and hearts coming in right now, boys. Keep it up, keep right. it up. Look at the juice on this. See the color? Beautiful, nice and thin. You guys, Joey put on his serious glass boy boots today for mom and dad not being here. We gotta step it up on the plate here a little bit. And that's what he's doing. So it's looking amazing. Send some more hearts, some more likes to him. He's doing a great job. Love those likes and hearts. Got a train coming outside, and it's gone. That's a fast train, folks. That's what they call a fast one. <laughs> I've heard him call it that before. Have you? Yeah. Wow. That tulip shape's just coming right together. Yup, here it comes. Little flare. Wow, Joey, great job, brother. Like a trophy guy. Flash and show it to him. I think he is beautiful, folks. I don't want to name it, but it sure does look like a snail in there. Oh, Mark <laughs> says he's setting the benchmark for you, Jake. You gotta, yes, he sure is. You got to come back with something strong. Now, look at that, guys. Look at that, folks. Give him some serious likes. Give him some serious hearts. I'm going to hold it up right to the light real quick. not off the pipe yet, so we're not going to give it a price yet, guys. Great job, Joey. Everyone is just astounded by the work that you've just put in. You guys, this is a fun one. Love, love the challenge. And here comes the iridescence, folks. The iridescence coming right in. See how hot that is with the flames coming out the top? Woo! Yeah, baby. Ha, ha, ha. It's shiny. All right, so now the tricky, 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 tricky part. Getting it off the pipe, folks. Uh, now, here's the real nail-biter of the, of the process here. Nail-biting situation, and you never don't 
biting your nails when you're making a pass. So Joey's just cooling down that connection to the pipe with some water real quick. And we're gonna see if we can get this thing right off first try. And that's just how fast the glass cools down there. So he's gotta get it back going a little bit, making sure not to overheat it, right Jake? And look at that. Take a look at the punny mark, Zach. There's hardly anything there. I got these forks nice and hot, ready to go. Nice work. Thank you for the assist, Jake. That was Here awesome. we go, you guys. And off to the annealer. Alright. Jake, why do those forks have to be hot? Does it damage the glass if they're cold? All right, real quick before we move on, I want to just get a little interview with you because everyone's saying how great of a piece that was and how rarely you smile on the live feed and you're just beaming right now. <laughs> so fun. I want to get your post-game thoughts. What, what was the process like out there and what did you have to do to make such a great piece? Oh man, that's crazy. Well, I actually, I might have attempted something similar and not have done it successfully about more than five times. So... I had a little bit of pre-planning. I didn't know exactly how it was going to turn out, how the colors were, were going to turn out. I didn't have the garage turned on, which is something we would normally have turned on for something like goblet assembly. But luckily, Jake and I are good about thinking on the fly. and We made it happen, and he brought the bit over, the stick and bit, and we put it on there, and he brought over the perfect of oleos, and we put it all together, and everything happened just the way it should, and it's a way in the oven, which is the ultimate goal. And guys, the way Joey works, for sure, on the show and in life, is that he grinds to the fullest amount. And you really gotta reel him in sometimes. And when he said to me he wanted to make a goblet, I said, pump the brakes, dude. What are you talking about? It better come off the pipe. And he just had it come off the pipe, and it was amazing. 